What's up you guys, welcome back to Sinister Bunny Studios, your go-to channel for heavy metal content. And um, I just figured I'd give you guys some kind of update on where things have gone and where I've been and all that fun kind of typical update video shit. So basically, a month and a half ago, a little less than two months ago, I decided to create a TikTok and I, I made a video on that saying that, you know, I started the TikTok and tried to get you know, people over to follow on TikTok and whatnot. And um, I was going to kind of screw around with the whole TikTok thing and see uh, what it was all about because I was such a late um, acceptor of the app and the platform as a whole. And uh, it's been a very surprising journey so far, to be honest. And um, it's kind of been a big reason why the channel has been the way that it has been. Now, there hasn't been a lack of content by any means. There has been content that I've been posting every day for the most part, twice a day, in fact. Um, basically, it's uh, shorts on YouTube and then TikTok videos on TikTok and reels on Instagram. So um, when I make a video for TikTok, I will then export it and share it to YouTube as a short and then I will also post it to Instagram reels uh, under Sinister Bunny Studios and my own personal Instagram. Uh, just to cross promote and get as much out of my content as I can. And um, it's been a very interesting road because in the month and a half or so that I've been doing TikTok, I've managed to amass about 12 to 1300 followers, uh, basically just recycling some of my old content from YouTube, uh, also making uh, original stuff for TikTok here and there. And uh, I've been doing some different kinds of things on TikTok in terms of uh, video styles. I've been doing a lot of like my favorite riffs and playing a lot of guitar stuff and it's obviously short form so it's a lot more bingeable and digestible. So I would suggest if you haven't followed me over on TikTok yet to go and do so just search Sinister Bunny Studios you'll find me. Um, but that's kind of been my journey uh, since I made that uh, I made a TikTok video uh, here on YouTube and so you've probably seen a lot of shorts being uploaded by me and that's kind of an experiment that I've been trying to do to kind of gauge uh, how some of these platforms work. Um, I haven't been putting as much effort into Instagram, and I probably should, but it's uh, it, it became more of a focus on TikTok, to be honest, because it, it kind of um, took off in a weird way that I didn't expect. Not, not that I'm, like, you know, huge on TikTok or anything like that, but, like, 12 to 1,300 followers in, like, a month and a half. I think it was about a month that I passed a thousand followers on TikTok. And be it, these are probably brand new people that don't know me from YouTube, which makes it even more crazy to me. It just it just shows how prevalent the platform is. And um, I, I honestly regret not joining it a long time ago, but I now at this point have more followers on TikTok than I do on uh, YouTube. But it's all it's all collective, you know. I got. Uh, almost 1,200 followers on, on YouTube, and I've got uh, 12 to 1,300 followers on uh, TikTok and then Instagram and all that, so I've got a couple thousand uh, followers in total on all platforms, which to me, hey, I'll take that, you know? Um, I, I think TikTok is going to be something that I will continue to do. Will I continue to do two videos a day? I'm not sure. That's just kind of been the experimental period for me. Um, was like, you know, I'll post two videos a day, one in the morning and one in the late afternoon, um, just to try to catch as many people as possible. And again, it's, it's been, it's been uh, showing some great results. It's been pretty promising. And um, some videos will get a couple hundred views right away, and other videos will get thousands of views. And it's kind of crazy the way that it works. And um, it's been pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. So that's probably what I'm going to keep doing here for just a little bit longer. I've got kind of a time period that I wanted to do this whole thing for. So I've amassed quite a few videos on YouTube and um, TikTok in terms of shorts because they're easier to make for the most part and um, they're quick videos. So, you know, you can clump them all together. And uh, that's pretty much all that I've been doing lately. So I haven't really been absent. I've just been um, trying something different. And uh, that doesn't mean I'm not going to post metal covers and whatnot. I am definitely still doing that. Or original music. Or just, you know, any kind of content that I've made in the past that just I like doing. I'm still going to be making that stuff. Um, I have a lot more time now 
to do things uh, in terms of social media. Uh, because another piece of news, not that I need to get into it too much in this video to derail it, but I quit my job that I had been complaining about. And um, I made a video on it on TikTok, and maybe you saw it on Shorts or TikTok, I'm not sure. Um, but I, uh, I, I quit that job because the hours were so hectic and the scheduling was just really crazy. I wouldn't find out what I was doing until the night before, and some days I had to get up at four in the morning to drive three hours to a job site and be there all day. Some days I didn't have to get up till 10 o'clock, and then some days I got home at two o'clock in the afternoon, and other days I got home at eight o'clock at night. And it was so unpredictable, and any day could seem like a regular day and then turn into a 14 hour day unexpectedly and I just had enough of that. So I put my two weeks in at that job after I secured placement and employment at a different employer and have since uh, for the last two weeks or so been at this new employer. So now I have a consistent schedule 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. every single day. So I'm out in, in the afternoon every day Monday through Friday which to me is great. I've done that schedule in the past and now I have a schedule that is consistent, not chaotic, and I'm also getting paid significantly more than I was at that other job. So it's kind of a win-win and I couldn't really turn it down. Uh, so I'm a lot happier now that I left that job. There's no really, there were no issues or ill will with anybody specifically at that job or anything. It was just the nature of the job and the schedule that comes with it is not for me. And um, I got out because I got to take care of myself. And uh, it just, it was causing a lot of issues at home. It was causing a lot of mental distress for me. And it just was kind of bullshit <laughs> overall. It was just kind of bullshit. Um, so yeah, I've started this new job. It's a lot more laid back and uh, it's stuff that, that I've done before. Um, it's like labor kind of work. It's a, like a small warehouse, not even a warehouse, it's a small shop making um, metal parts and stuff like that. So I'm off on my own thing. There's only two of us in this one building and I'm making die blocks and it's um, something that is simple. I know what to do. I can get in my groove every day and it pays pretty damn well. So I'll take it. And now I have extra time later in the day to, that time that I know I have um, to do whatever I want and make content and, and even make plans with friends and family and stuff. I couldn't even do that with that other job because I didn't know if I was going to get out at eight o'clock at night or if I was going to get out at two in the afternoon. Um, so it's been a nice change and I'm so happy for it. It's not the ideal job where I'm at now, obviously. It, it, it's not what I want to do, but it's something that I can deal with for now that also pays well. So until I can turn and do this full time, um, I'll continue to stick with where I'm at. And they're very nice people and um, they've been very welcoming and everything. So it's been it's been really good. And, and for myself, I'm in a way better place mentally and um, I'm just a lot happier. So that's kind of where things have been. And um, that's where they'll be for a little bit. I've got some bigger videos for like YouTube main videos that I've got um, that I'm hopefully going to put out here soon. I've got some metal covers in the works. And um, yeah, things will resume back to normal. Um, I'm still going to continue to make the short form content because it's just fucking fun. And it, it, it gets exposure and it's... Just it's just a different thing, and it's a, something to change up the regular boring, not boring, but just the, the the monotony of doing the same thing. It just changes it up, and it makes it fun for me to do. So um, follow me on TikTok if you haven't to see all that short form content. You'll still see the same stuff on YouTube Shorts on YouTube. So definitely subscribe and stay there. Um, and Instagram Reels, I'm not sure on that one yet. It's not too promising, but. I'll probably still post stuff there. So, yeah, if you could do me a favor, TikTok and everything, that'd be that'd be awesome if you want to see some different kind of content. And, um, yeah, thank you all for sticking with me. Thank you, as always, for being the, the awesome fans and followers and subscribers that you are. And I'll see you in the next video. So, like I always say, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. Stay metal, my friends.